shooting mammals in the Manuel Antonio Beach area is absolutely fantastic. Now, going to the actual state park made it very easy to find these, but all around in the environment, there are all sorts of sloths, the two-toed and the three-toed sloths available, and all four types of monkey population that you'll find in Costa Rica. There's howler monkey, spider monkey, and two types of capuchin monkeys. These animals are beautiful and often quite interesting to watch. I did find a couple of pieces of advice though to locate the animals. One of the easiest things to do is to look for movement. Now, you might be thinking the sloth doesn't move very much, and that's true, but the sloth is a fairly heavy animal. So as they're climbing up a tree, you will see the branches move at the top or the trees shake a little bit. On the other hand, if you see very sudden movement and the leaves are moving quite quickly, or it looked like somebody jumped from one tree to the next, that's likely gonna be one of the monkeys. Look for that movement in the treetops and it'll be very easy to spot the animals. I also found it was a good idea to try using a pair of binoculars or a monocular, and this would make it easy to see things. Once you found something, then you can take the camera out and fire up the shots. But there are tons of these great mammals to capture. To get great shots, I have a couple pieces of technical advice. Because you're often shooting into the canopies, two things occur. It's very easy to have backlit situations where the animal is gonna be framed by a brighter sky. And typically, they're hiding under the shade of the canopy. So even if you don't have the backlighting problem, you have much lower lighting levels. For this reason, I recommend shooting raw and consider bumping up the ISO so you get the exposure. The good news is that the sloth doesn't move very fast. So if you are using a tripod, it's very easy to open up the aperture, shoot with shallower depth of field, and pull that ISO down. This will make it easy to capture nice, crisp photos. But by using the raw photo, it'll be a lot easier to recover the highlights and lift the shadows. On the other hand, if you're trying to capture the monkeys, these can move quite quickly. Whether they're at play or they are interacting with each other or fighting, they tend to move pretty fast. As such, you're going to need a faster shutter speed to catch them. I found it was frequently necessary to bump up the ISO in order to get a good capture. All in all, the mammals in the area are extremely plentiful, more than 100 different species available. So if you want to go out and find wildlife to capture photos, it is a very target rich environment. It did not take long to locate an animal. In fact, as soon as I arrived at the park, there were some lizards waiting for me. Walked about another 10 feet and I found a sloth. It's not a zoo, they're actually out in their natural habitat. It's just that the people of Costa Rica have done such a great job of preserving the wildlife areas and minimizing the impact of human development that the animals are plentiful and quite easy to spot.